Today's horoscope and tarot reading from Astro Academy, Cancer March 29, 2022. The new moon today launches a period for focusing on much-needed rest, review, and healing. It can be a time of giving back, settling karmic debts, and soul-searching. The urge to find emotional peace of mind will be apparent, whether this comes naturally to you or circumstances push you in this direction. An instinctive need for change from the inside out is with you now. It's time to make room for spiritual renewal and refreshment. You could be putting attitudes and projects or circumstances that have run their course behind you, but first, you need to go within to discover what these are. You might want to take action now on recent revelations, but for the most part, this is a time of reflection rather than new initiatives. Getting comfortable with your inner needs and desires is a highly appropriate goal. Understanding and processing recent events are part of this. Whether you're single, crushing, or already romantically attached, you're being called to purge something that's no longer serving you. This could be everything from a toxic thought pattern to a relationship, but even still, your ability to surrender will trigger a positive new beginning in your life. Keep in mind that Mars and Venus will be sizzling through your socially conscious 11th house of associations, compromise, and significant others, which means you may already have your eye on that special someone, specifically via your extended networks or social media. In the meantime, take advantage of this time to turn your energy inward. Rest and recharge. This is a day for looking to the past and to the future but on two very different fronts. It is in his last full day in retrograde motion in your relationship sector at Mercury, the planet of communication is looking to the past and especially when it comes to a chance to give your relationships, the past and unsaid words a voice. At the same time, an alignment between the moon and Jupiter in your sector of adventure, travel, learning and discovery is a chance to look to the future, journeys and experiences ahead. Just eight days after retrograding back into your relationship sector Mercury, the planet of communication has come to a standstill ahead of his direct turn tomorrow. While Mercury is here for another 12 days and will work with Venus and Mars to get the communication lines open today is all about giving the past and unsaid words a voice. A change in perspective is well overdue. The new moon in Aquarius glimmers through your subconscious, encouraging you to consider adopting a new mindset throughout the next six months. It may be time to consider a different outlook without judgment or fear of what others may think of you. As a result, you will begin to own your unique perspective and professional talents that come with it. Rising into a more positive mental appraisal will allow you to distance yourself cognitively from any stressors or fears of being inadequate. Do not be afraid to show the real you at work. While the moon won't return for its second visit to your income sector for the year until later in the week, already there should be signs that a shift has taken place. While nothing may have changed or moved on the income front and there might not be anything externally to show for this, internally if you can't feel a growing drive to fight for what you deserve you will do by the end of the week. You are full of energy and other people are carried away with it. You feel like going out and having fun. Who could say no to that? It will be easy to encourage others to participate, if you end up on the town on your own which is unlikely, but possible you'll have no trouble finding company. The last thing you want to do on a day like this is put your foot in your mouth. That would be embarrassing. Take your time and be careful about what you say in front of large crowds. Be prepared for love to become a more permanent feature, you don't have to do much to get yourself noticed. Your secret is to simply be yourself, even if sometimes you feel a little uncertain. What matters is you're prepared for any eventuality, it's in the most unexpected of places your dream lover can appear. With the influence from today's planetary alignment, things could get a little hard to manage. Whether positive or negative, there is a lot of energy in your midst right now and you need to stay active to keep things manageable. Any time you can walk instead of ride in a car or bus, do it. When making choices about what you eat, always choose for the benefit of your body. Your taste buds won't mind. 
Eat light, nutritious foods. With the essence of this day about you you may feel the desire to spend some time rejuvenating yourself. There is nothing wrong with this, as taking care of others means that you also need to take care of the caregiver. Surrender yourself to the needs that this day has brought to the forefront for you. Do whatever feels right. Once you have rejuvenated your spirit and body, you'll feel more ready to resume with the care you give to others. Your tarot reading for today. The Magician, the Hanged Man, and the Devil. Your draw perfectly illustrates the old adage, the past is a lighthouse, not a port. It seems that in some areas, you tend to close doors simply because, in the past, you have experienced failures, disappointments, or even heartbreak. I know how difficult it is to bounce back after these sorts of experience, but this adage gives you a new way of seeing this type of situation. Your past, that is to say your life experience, your failures as well as your successes, must be your principal landmark, your guide. You will be able to look at the future through what you have lived in the past. All those things that make up your life experience are a source of riches in which you should find the keys to your future success. But to do that you must accept the future as it is, with all the uncertainties that are part of it. During the month of, of April 2022, you will have to face new issues in your life. These events are a real challenge for you and bring a lot of uncertainties with them. To carry out your projects and respond to this unexpected situation, you will need to make use of your life experience, your temperament and your own intuition. In effect the cards you have drawn show that you have all the necessary potential to reach your goals. As such, they highlight a number of qualities such as generosity, the ability to listen and understanding. These human qualities will be enough on their own for you to be accepted into a new environment. Notably, you will meet a man of your age who should have an important role in the future. You should also experience some periods of joy during which you will be proud of yourself, the efforts that you have made to achieve your goals, and the outcome of the situation. You should understand that your draw has some very good omens and shows that things could change quickly in your life. Our eyes in the sky. Today's moon is in sweet and tender Pisces. It's a time to manifest dreams and hopes while transforming emotions. This luminary combined with other planetary action and brings some sweeping changes and desires to the surface. Jupiter, the planetary ruler of Pisces, is in that sign. When a planet such as Jupiter is in its dignity, it marks a time to take action toward bettering one's love life and financial situation. This means we will push for all lucky and abundant matters, love, money, confidence, to move forward no matter the outcome. The only thing to worry about is excess, but since when is having a romantic sweet tooth a bad thing? Just be careful to purchase with caution and not max out those credit cards. Also keep in mind that Mercury is retrograde. Nothing is set in stone, you can always revise and edit unfolding events down the road. This is a great time to set your intentions and begin to manifest them, but, first, it's important to be clear about what you want to bring to fruition. Write it all down so you can make it happen in reality. In the pre-dawn hours, the moon enters Pisces, ending its 24-hour long void. Over the next two days, expect emotional sensitivities to be extra stimulated. In Pisces territory, the boundaries between ourselves and others dissolve, helping us empathize with those we might otherwise fail to understand. This is a dreamy, half-here, half-there kind of energy, best used for engaging our creative, artistic, or imaginative impulses. Instead of trying to hold yourself to a strict schedule, Make time for daydreaming and rest to allow important messages from your subconscious to come through. Mid-afternoon, the moon sextiles Mars in Capricorn. This influence is particularly good for intimacy and improving our sex lives. Mars in Capricorn is tenacious and understands the power of the slow burn. The Pisces moon makes us extra sensitive and intuitive. There's no need to force anything here. Magic will manifest itself through a wise application of our energy. 
Whether we take this time to further a personal project, or more deeply connect with another person, expect the vibe to feel organic.